In this video, we will derive the escape velocity formula. Escape velocity is a speed an object must achieve to escape a massive object. If an object's speed is less than escape velocity, it will remain in orbit or will collide with it. In this animation, all but one of the objects orbiting Earth have speeds less than escape velocity, while one is traveling at exactly escape velocity. As it distances itself from Earth, it slows down. After an infinite amount of time, it will come to rest at an infinite distance from the Earth. At this point, with no velocity, the object's kinetic energy will be zero. And since we use an infinite distance as our reference for potential energy, this object will also have no potential energy. Therefore, its total energy will be zero. Since energy in a system is conserved, it must be zero everywhere, including at the surface of the massive object. Escape velocity is a speed at any given distance from the center of a massive object where potential energy and kinetic energy are zero. Kinetic energy is, of course, 1 half mv squared. Well, potential energy is negative g big M little m, where big M is the mass of the massive object and little m is the mass of the object doing the moving, divided by the distance from the center of the massive object. You can take this term and move it to the other side of the equal by subtracting it. So we now have 1 half mv squared equals negative negative g big M little m over r. You notice that our two negatives will cancel with each other, and we also have a little m in each side of the equation, and that can cancel. So the object doing the escaping, we don't need to know its mass. We can take this 1 half and cross multiply it to the other side, but it would be more convenient to add it upstairs as a 2. And that gives us velocity squared equals 2gm over r, and of course we're trying to solve for velocity. So we will root, well, we'll square both sides. Now we'll take the square to both sides, and there's our escape velocity formula.